Good morning once again on the field with John and Jared. How are you doing, folks? Cochise County. Welcome back. Cool FM Live. Thank you so much to SSVC and backed by Morse, Ed Morse Motor Company here in Sierra Vista. Part two of our show this morning was an exciting <laughs> selection show earlier, John. We were at the lecture pod at Buena with all the staff and players for not only our football team, boys, but our flag, girls flag football team with their first inaugural season made the playoffs. First season playoff team. That is so hard to do. We got to, I mean, Coach Braswell. And Coach kudos. Nacho. And, and Coach, Coach Nacho, Nacho, yeah. Big kudos. That's very impressive to be able to do stuff like that in your very first year. Uh, you so know, exciting. Yeah, pioneering a, a new sport for a school is really hard to do, and that they're doing that, and they're doing it so well. I mean, mm -hmm. what happens the next year? What happens the year after that? They got the young lady, uh, Via Lobos. Destiny. I mean, she's a freshman. Destiny. They got three more years of this young lady, plus the playoffs this year. So, uh, flag football's amazing, high school football, so... Last night, I was at the Wilcox game. We'll get to the big game in just a second. Sure. I, went, I went to the Wilcox Pull up game. Your scores. Oh, yeah. Pull up our scores for 5A or for Southern Arizona. Yep. From the. Uh, the so there's some playoff games last night, as you guys may have seen. Uh, Bisbee had uh, host their first playoff game in quite some time, and they hosted uh, the team of Camp Verde, which is, gosh, that's right outside of. So, uh, Jerome, Arizona, which is close to Prescott and really on the outskirts of Sedona. Way out We're talking there. about a five hour drive to come down here and play the Bisbee team. They probably had to leave at nine in the morning. Yeah, I mean, I hope they had the day off at school. Yeah, I mean, they just probably went to first and second period and got in the bus and everybody followed them out and cheered them on as they left the school. And, but man, Bisbee. And Sebastian Lopez yeah. did their thing. 33-20. So Bisbee Pumas beat the Cap, uh, Camp Verde Cowboys 33-20 in their playoff game. Bisbee's ranked number one, I believe, in, in 2A. So, Or are they the number they're one seed? They're the three seed. Okay, they're the three seed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. We'll get to another three seed here in a moment. Oh, but as far as 2A in Cochise County, they are the Ooh. best team. And, and right behind them was Wilcox. Uh, they played. We were there last night. Dude, that game. We covered it from Cool FM with yep. Logan Seeley. Yeah, me and Logan went up to uh, Scottsdale Prep and we watched Wilcox uh, play a game. So Scottsdale Prep uh, 27, Wilcox Cowboys 21. Hard, hard fought game. So the first two possessions of the game went to Wilcox. They scored on the first two possessions and pretty much held uh, Scottsdale Prep out of like even touching the football in the first quarter. Scottsdale Prep gets the ball back, they throw a bubble screen, it goes for a touchdown on like the second play that they get it. So we, so Wilcox kept them from some even touching the ball. As soon as they touch the ball, they score. And then uh, Bisbee, or uh, Wilcox, yeah, Wilcox um, uh, turned the ball over. And uh, yeah, after that, it was just kind of downhill from there. A lot, a lot of fumbles. Of turnovers. Yeah, they fumbled the ball inside the 15 yard line three times. There was another fumble on top of that, and there was an interception. And even then, that game came down to the wire, and at the very end, it was brutal. It, uh, they lost on a fumble. They turned the ball over at the very end of the game, and, and that was that. Mm. But it was super hard fought. That I honestly think Wilcox should have won that game in multiple ways. Their defense was better. Offensive line was better. It, it was a better game. You, sir, covered... The big 5A game. <laughs> Tell yeah. me a little bit about so that. So, Buena hosted Cienega last night. Cienega hasn't come down to Sierra Vista in about eight, seven years to play us. And, uh, you know, we've had this big, it's, 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 it, we can call it a rivalry. You know, it's a 45 minute drive, 48 minute drive to Vail Cienega. Um, and so we've made that one of those hot type games at the end of the season, towards the end of the season always. And so having them for senior night last night, the emotions were high for seniors and they, and they were just, they showed out and they did what they needed to. A uh, little rocky at first, you know, not rocky in the sense of 
what are we going to do? We're, we're taking forever to get started. It, it was a it was a battle. Mm -hmm. uh, they found ways to score. They found ways to score. We pretty much gave them uh, with with some penalties. We gave them their two touchdowns, and they got super lucky on a two point conversion that was a muffed snap, uh, and they ended up fifteen fourteen and a half. Beating us, and mm -hmm. so we came out. You know, Coach Thomas said, "Hey, clean the slate, zero zero And the kids, you know, you, you, we heard that from some of them earlier in our playoff edition of our show. And you know, that we said they said we just took a zero zero attitude to the second half, and they didn't score again. No, nah, they Sienega, they had plenty of chances. I won't get into the, all the details of why, but <laughs> um, stripes come into play or come into my mind a lot from when I say that. But, zebras, of course. Uh, zebras, <laughs> you know, but, you know, you can't always sit there and do that. you got to play your game, and that's what we did. We kept our composure despite having so much uh, adversity, but our kids pulled off what they needed to pull off. Um, you know, T.J. Walker was phenomenal on defense. Cooper Krause, is. Cooper Krause took over the all-time, well, 5A Southern Region Tackles leader last night. Before, Young man that was on the, the show last, last week weekend yeah. and on this morning is the number one tackler in 5A football. Just let that 5A sink. Southern. 5A mm -hmm. Southern. And and he's, what, a junior? junior. Yes. Yeah. And, man, those wrestler kids, they're beasts. Yeah. He's very good. And so, you know, we look forward to seeing – a pretty dominant performance. Uh, we'll, call, we'll get back to Buena here shortly. We want to go through the rest of the scores. Uh, Breen Academy Eagles 32, Western SciTech Aztecs Warriors 20. So, Breen I stopped by late on. in the game for that one. Yeah, that was another game that. Man, it was cold. Yeah, that was a really <laughs> cold one. I'm gonna have to get electric socks for this. <laughs> I'm not joking. My I was Pretty in sure. Wilcox and I was on metal, just like you and I were mm -hmm. at that other stadium. And my feet, I could not. So as I was walking out, I stubbed my toe, like, you know, not, not stubbed. I'm wearing shoes. I touched the toe of my right shoe to the heel of my left shoe, and it felt like I split my big toe down the middle. That's how mm. cold my feet were. It was awful. Anyway, so, so. yeah, we're, so Breen looking really good. They're, they're going to go to the next round of the playoffs. Skyline, Gila River versus American Leadership Academy, 44 Skyline, American Leadership Academy zero. So that's their first year playing football as well. So you got to be really happy with them making the playoffs in yes. their first year. Yes. Results weren't great, but I mean, they're they've got a very high upward trajectory. I, I expect that they'll they will that's grow. Cool. Keep growing. Oh, yeah, for, for sure. sure. Like then they got really good athletes. I'm impressed with them. Uh, like we said, the Buena Colts 32, uh, Sienega <clears throat> Bobcats 15. First time since 2013 we beat them. Oh man, that's a long time. Yep. I didn't realize that. It was a little bit of a drought, but I can't believe you guys were so. I mean, when I was super confident about that, and I was like, I was like, oh man, like usually I'm not very confident about who the who I'm playing. I just go out there and play. But they were like, nah, we're gonna take care of these dudes. They knew from the very beginning, even with that halftime, they knew they were gonna come out and win this. Yes, sir. And then finally, Saint David versus Hayden. Hayden 53, St. David 6. That was a playoff game as well. Yeah, it was the semis, I believe. Yeah, they, that was the second round. And awesome, awesome job this season, you guys. Like, I'm, you guys played super well. Uh, St. David always puts together a, a, a lot of effort. Their girls' basketball won the state championship last year. All of, they, They've got a lot of great athletes yeah, over there. Semis. Semifinals, wow. Yeah, they, were one, they were one game away from the state title. That I mean, would have been... So, continued dominant performance, like John said. Hats off to uh, coaches out there in um, the rural area of St. David. Continuing to put those athletes on the field and play eight-man football is just an amazing thing. And hats off to the concessions for making the best bean, <laughs> green chili burrito in the state of Arizona. No joke, everybody I'm talks sorry about it. if any of your... Um, Restaurants here locally, you just heard me say that. You got competition over in St. David. <laughs> Those that kids. little concession can put some food together. <laughs> and they say it's got a good price, too. Yes. I, I got to do that. Yes, for sure. So, okay. so we're going to go back to, real quick, Yeah. the 5A bracket. 
So we, we went down uh, to Bre uh, Buena High School and we were sitting in uh, the lecture pod and got to see all the students, so a lot of, a lot of football players, a lot of uh, flag football players, and we got to go down the list of where everything is. Now, this is very impressive. That we were talking about the 5A Southern, and you look at the playoffs. Now, Jared, this was your your observation. You've got to tell me about this. So, 5A first round bracket was revealed today. That's why we were there for the selection show. Um, Gilbert North, ALA, Gilbert North, <coughs> excuse me, got the first seed. Uh, they'll be playing Barry Goldwater. Uh, if anybody knows of a certain person that um, dominated at BYU in the 90s <laughs> by the name of Ty Detmer, yeah. who won a Heisman Trophy. That's He's the coach at ALA Gilbert North. Incredible. You know <clears throat> you know that's got to be... A, so, like... besides that part of it, um, Ironwood Ridge, Casta Grand, you're going to see a lot of fingers go up. <laughs> Buena. Uh, Tucson. Tucson. Cienega. Marana Mountain View. Seven schools out of the 16 in the 5A bracket are from either Casa Grande or below. Isn't that incredible? Hats off to 5A Southern football going nuts this year with, with good, solid football and getting themselves into the playoffs. Now, Buena, going back to that, Believing, I, I, we're going to have to do some research, but I believe this Buena's highest seed ever in playoff three history. Seed. A That's... three seed in the playoffs <laughs> against a team that we already beat. Yep. We played this team. You watched our, our, our footage. You guys tuned in, had about 125 towards the end of the game. Uh, we went up to Casa Grande when it was a very bomby 102 at kickoff, John. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we had the sweatshirts on, believe us. Boy, it was chilly. Ugh. Yeah. It stunk like you know what up there. But anyway, um, we came out on top. We had a little bit of adversity. With They they could score. They're, they're going to be able to score. So we'll have to see that they what we have to do with the game plan. But we get to host Casa Grande. I just said host. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you need to get out to Loveless Stadium next Friday. Oh my gosh! We it's need to be huge. We need to have five thousand plus in that stadium. We not 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 having any kind of room, little little tiny section <laughs> for Casa Grand fans. The rest is all blue and white. They can sit on the other side. They can sit on the dirt for all I care. <laughs> if they want to come down here and play us. The Casa Grand, we're gonna we're gonna pack the house. Casa Grand, that's the that's the school with the really tall wide receiver. Right? Yes. He's so you guys are going to be in to see in a humongous kid, but I don't remember his name off the top of my head. Yeah. Uh, Williams is his last name, but you won't miss him. He's six <laughs> foot seven and about two sixty. Wide receiver, and he's a junior. Yeah, he had a ninety-eight um, yard run on us, didn't he? And played <laughs> defensive end as well. Um, defensive tackle, I'm sure both. <laughs> yeah, defensive fill, tackle, he fills wide up receiver. Two, he fills up two holes. Yeah, you get so, that wide. But we'll have an answer for that kid. You know Coach Thomas is going to do his thing and, yeah. and getting these guys ready. And co His coaching staff is just going to do some incredible stuff. We're so excited. And then the even more exciting thing, I don't want to get ahead of, our, of ourselves, but if we are able to pull off our first playoff victory in forever and we can do it Friday, we're going to be behind them. So you guys make sure you get a big, big group of fans to go out there with you. But we pull that game off. John, we get to host again. I know. We get I to just sit at home. Two playoff sleep, games? Sleep in our own beds, as we said earlier. In 5A? Yeah, 5A. And, and the other team that if we would have to play is going to have to travel even further. Because they got about a four-hour drive to get down here. I mean, and then that one little factor that comes into play... You love talking about it all the time. Go ahead and let them know, John. Altitude training, my man. <laughs> we have it. Yes, they don't. Sir. I, and we were watching. I, Altitude uh, advantage. Yeah, they go. So all the teams in Cochise County go down to Tucson, and you're wondering why you see so many. Even Phoenix. Yeah, and and all these Southern Arizona high altitude teams. Man, they play so hard in lower altitudes, and when other teams come to us. The, all the oxygen is deprived out of their lungs. They're running on half speed. I mean, we have the best home field advantage in Arizona. 
and and I think that they're going to take advantage. Might of have them. a little bit of a temperature advantage too. We'll oh see. my gosh! Well, I'm wearing electric <laughs> socks for sure. <laughs> yeah, be careful. I'm not dude. messing around. Yeah, don't mess around with all. So, you know, hats off to Coach Thomas and his cre and his crew and his team for getting the three seed last night. Congratulations so, to all these teams that yeah. moved on to the next round. Congratulations to Wilcox for making it. Uh, uh, very I'm impressive. Check four A real quick. I okay. want to say there's quite a bit of. Southern Arizona teams there too. CDO out of Tucson. Um, I want to say Walden Grove. Yes, Walden Grove got in. Micah Mountain, 10 and 0 in the regular season. Wow. Um, oh, actually, I think they might have lost to Moran if they played Moran. Well, that makes sense. But they're not like, one. How would yeah. yeah? But anyway, so Micah Mountain, uh, Vista Grande is the other school in Casa Grande. So there were three ish, four schools if you count. Uh, Vista Grande, but this one I was very surprised at. Coles you, you, versus you, you know. no, Uma Catholic getting number one seed. I, yeah, I thought it would have been Mike Mountain. Solid program. And they've been in the the final four the last two to three years, mm -hmm. so you know it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. And the open division is going to be wild. So Morana, you guys watched us with that one three weeks ago. Oh my gosh, they are the Marana number one got team the number overall. One. They got the number one game and they got Chandler Hamilton. Now if you guys know of anything here in, in high school football in Arizona, you know the name Hamilton mm -hmm. within the last 15 to 20 years. A dominant, dominant football program. Uh, and I see Miranda having their hands full right away. Yeah, I mean, when I held them, I mean, they, that was a game when I should have won, but I'm kind of glad that they did because all of this worked out in their favor, honestly. Mm -hmm. I mean, that they could play two home playoff games in a row is something that uh, they've got to be very, very proud of. Mm -hmm. Badminton, so, that's a good one. Where's their girls? Oh, flag football? Yeah. Yeah, they're somewhere. Um, anyway, we don't want to... We already talked to you earlier, if you guys saw um, oh, well. our... The, yeah. the flag right. football team made the playoffs, like we were saying earlier. They got the number what is seven. It? Number seven. Whoa! Versus Lake Havasu, and they're playing at home. Talk about a travel on Wednesday. Havasu has to drive from the state line, ladies and gentlemen. If you've ever been there, you know where it's at. Yeah, it's right on the it's on the Colorado River, and that's the border of our state to California. And they've got to drive all the way to Southern Arizona to Sierra Vista. Night game isn't on Friday, it's on Wednesday. Imagine making that trip on a Wednesday between class, or just after class. That's not going to be easy for those girls. No, traveling. they're probably leaving about 10, 10 o'clock. Take the day get off down from here. school. Because you got to get down here and then you got to get yourself rested and, or uh, out, out of the bus mode. Oh yeah, stretch your legs. legs. And all that. And, you know, that does become a factor. Man. So you have to, <clears throat> you probably have to They'll be stopping one one time before they get here because of regulations and stuff. But they'll they got a long trek. They have to come down here and play our girls, who are very talented and very fired up. So many good players. That Storm, uh, young lady named Storm, number ten. She has like five sacks every game. It's so much fun to watch. So they got this. I keep calling her Javon Curse because like <laughs> Javon Curse was this. He was kind of a tall, skinny dude. Yeah, long wingspan. Defensive end. Yeah, defensive end for the Tennessee for the Titans. Titans. Yeah. And he was so fast, and he could get around people. I I was also kind of comparing her to Derek Thomas, but I was like, you know, Derek Thomas didn't have um, – he was Wings. more powerful yeah. than Javon Curse was, where Javon Curse was so quick he could get around the corner on you. I mean, Derek Thomas could do that too, but she reminds me of Javon Curse. Awesome, and that dude – this is a funny story. He can hold a ruler between his pinky and his thumb. That's how big his hands are. Can you imagine your hand being that big? Yeah, no. that's Shaq's hands. And that guy's only 6'6". Six, six. Wow. Anyway, the guy's a freak. Yeah. And and like we said, it's a blessing to see all these teams in, um, in the playoffs and all these young ladies playing their football out here. So again, 5A Southern. Buena. Casa Grande, Marana Mountain View, Nogales, and Desert View. Five teams from Southern Arizona. Yeah. And mid mid Arizona almost, with with the exception of Casa Grande, just outside of Phoenix. 
five schools in the top 16 playing in the flag football bracket. There's <clears throat> in Tucson and and Phoenix, you got a lot of people, like especially Phoenix. And that so much of the football is coming out of southern Arizona, you gotta wonder what's in the water, man. No, it's, in the, it's in the water, and it's just, it's just the, you know, the exposure, the, the excitement you're put, pouring into these yeah. kids to get them out to come play this sport. I mean, these girls have been probably waiting on this for a couple of years, and when it started to be a talk, when it was a topic of, should we get this thing going? As soon as they let the green light go, holy cow, all these programs just popped up. Yep. Do you want to move on to college? Yeah, let's go ahead and move into our college game day. Okay, so number six at 6 p.m. plays Washington. Number six, Penn State against Washington. They're still in the hunt for the playoffs. Not in college That's it, Yeah, it's in College Station. No, not College Station. But no, it's yeah. not? Is it College Station? Yeah, yeah. College Station. Yeah, College Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. So they're playing at Penn State. Oof. I know. And then after that, the so right now, Florida and Texas are playing. Texas is number five. Florida isn't ranked right now, but I think Florida's a pretty good team. Just extended uh, Billy Napier's contract. Good for him. Keep him at, he's, at, with the Gators. Yeah, he's a good coach. So he's going to keep building that program. Purdue and I, oh, uh, Purdue versus Ohio State. That's Just in the first started. quarter right now. Yeah. Uh, wow, seven seven already. Miami and Georgia Tech. That was that's the one that I was excited about. Miami, the ranked number four. Georgia Tech always plays so hard. I'm like, where do they get these guys? Like, they have a huge upset every year. They don't. I mean, they're not the best team in the in college football, but but they always play up. Upset somebody. They, yeah, every single yeah, year. They big, upset. Big, yeah. Vandy kind of does that too. <laughs> yeah, clearly they that. did that this year. Navy looking good. They're playing South Florida. They got the lead 7-0 uh, in the first quarter. Um, let's move on down. Oh, Georgia versus Ole Miss. Georgia's ranked number three. Ole Miss number 16. That's a two-point spread. I can't believe that. They're gonna be they're gonna Georgia's gonna beat Ole Miss by a bunch, I bet. But I mean that's not what the that's not what the gamblers think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, those guys are always uh yeah. A step ahead of us in, in that in that aspect. So yeah, they're a step ahead of me. <clears throat> they say the way you can make money is actually college football because the the gamblers don't know as much as the students do on on campus. So like, I shouldn't I shouldn't promote that. <laughs> but I'll tell you, college students end up cleaning up when they know their own football team really well. It's mm -hmm. a really funny story. Washington State has a lot of those. Who we have, we have later on? Today. Indiana, Michigan. Oh, that could be fun. But Indiana's pulling that one out. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Army versus North Texas. Ohio or oh, Iowa State versus Kansas. That's going to be a good game. That'll be at 130. Uh, Oregon versus Maryland. That's not going to be a good game. Blow out. But yeah, Maryland is super tough this year. I'm not going to say that they're going to win or even be close, but they were they played pretty well this year. Some some good games. Ooh. Tennessee versus Mississippi State. Oh, Alabama and LSU, or dude, that's, that's the game. That's the game. Okay, five thirty p.m. If you're watching football, you want to be watching Alabama versus LSU. Two and a half point spread, and then what is this? BYU versus Utah. What? That's another fun one. That's a in state great rivalry. Game. I can't wait to see that. We'll have to figure out where we can. We'll watch that game somewhere. That'd be a good one to watch. And Washington State versus Utah, um, and that's. Pretty much it. I mean, oh, Iowa versus UCLA. That was last night. That was last night. Twenty to seventeen. What? They UCLA see. beat Iowa. <laughs> I didn't read that until I like read it, and then it didn't process. Yes. So I'm like, Iowa yes. lost. What the heck? Me and my uncle were talking about that last night. It was like, how are they pulling this off? Oh, they wow. did it. Uh, Hats off to Coach Foster. Northern Illinois, one of my teams, played well. Former. Former Buena Colt, Nor uh, Northern Illinois Husky, Jamal Womble. Dude. Former, former rushing record holder. Yeah. Now hold, held by Andres Scrappy Bonilla. And he had 230 yards last night. For 20 carries. <laughs> 20 carries. 10, 10 a carry. That kid should be playing D1 next he will. year. He I will. I sure hope so. We got we to gotta start getting him, getting him out there and getting him visits because that kid's going to do things. He can play D1 ball right now. Oh, no doubt. I, I that two-headed monster that we have in the backfield with Lujan and him. Oh my gosh! It'd be fun to see them. Charlie Price. The Price is Right. 
I, I, Gosh, he's, Charlie Price. he does everything very well. Charlie Price, I, I feel like he's kind of like uh, the fill in for everything. He, he can play running back, he can play wide receiver, he he's can play free slot. safety. Yeah, and free safety. I, I think safety. I've seen him play outside linebacker too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's kind of an all like he doesn't hybrid. kick hybrid. Yeah, he plays when you when you see him if he's gonna, if he still wants to play at the next level when he's going to be labeled in the in his rival or whoever he goes with to rank him, it's going to say ATH. <laughs> yeah, right. You don't have a set position for that kid because yeah. he plays kickoff return. He's a backer. He's a free safety. He's a strong safety. Yeah. He's a running back. He's a receiver. He's a yeah. slot receiver. He's a little Wes Welker. Yeah. Buena version. And he does flips. So. And he backflips. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully we can see a backflip next week Probably if he gets a score or something big happens for him. So anyway. T tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. I believe this is the London game. New York versus the Carolina Panthers. So that's the first game. Mm -hmm. Who do you pick on that one? Mm, Carolina. Oh. Yeah, dude, you're coming around. You're coming around. Sorry, I appreciate I just, it. I, I, dude, like, I like their, 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 their turning it around. Their defense, they've been they've been drafting high. There was It was like two or three years ago, they didn't draft a single offensive player, and they only drafted defense, and now you're seeing the results. Mm -hmm. I mean, their offense is terrible, but you're seeing the results of that too. <laughs> so, but their defense is awesome. The Chiefs play for the first time at 11 a.m. versus the Broncos. So, oh, okay, I'm taking the Panthers. It right. is at Kansas City. Mm. But, I mean, Bo Nix has been looking really good. Yeah, and he knows how to play in cold weather, so it's okay. Cold. It's going to be cold. It's been it's been snowing all day. If there's it snowed a, like crazy yesterday. If there's a quarterback that I trust against the Chiefs, I, I prefer as a rookie, I, I would actually rep. I think Bo Nix is the best one to play against the Chiefs. Better than Daniels. Better than um, uh, what's the guy from Williams? Like I, I think Bo Nix is the best quarterback this year as far as throwing the ball and and kind of running an offense. I think Daniels is probably offensive rookie of the year, but I think Nix is the probably the best quarterback out of the out of the bunch. <clears throat> we'll see. I mean, maybe maybe it's Penix. So my thing is with the Chiefs and the Broncos. This is why I'm having a hard time. I don't know what that ankle's gonna look like. For uh, 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 uh Patrick Mahomes, he they, he's good. He tweaked it. And yeah, it, it everted instead of went out. Yeah, there was so an eversion, and the way he landed that it really freaked me out. I, I know like something was gonna happen to his head. I thought it might be an Achilles. It could have been because a knee. the way he landed his foot, I was like, oh, that's gonna jar everything in that leg. Yeah, and he so was limping luckily off. he came out of that. With just a little ankle issue. I think it is a freak athlete. Though, he is. Man. He's the next TB. <laughs> Come on, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. All right, so I was getting excited Did about us going to be able to handle the 49ers. Are you with the, the Chiefs? I'll, I'll go with the Chiefs. Okay. Just by, like, field goal, Yeah, maybe. Um, Brussels so going, in, going into the Niners-Buccaneers. Now, I was fired up because we were like, yeah, let's get a bounce-back win after having a tough handle Yeah. with... Uh, our Chiefs. previous game and almost beating you guys, dude. It was awesome. You guys, and you played. saw the reaction by Baker. He knew he was gonna lose because he didn't get the coin toss. Whoever gets the coin toss in the overtime is gonna win. So I'll say you got this, ten minutes. The thing about the thing about With all the, the new overtime rules. The, so we say new overtime rules. That's that the the new overtime rules to me are when they change from sudden death to this where you can go back and forth mm -hmm. because back in the day. If you kicked a field goal from 45, like, was it? it was different. Like, you, now you have to go down and score a touchdown. So I feel like it's a lot more fair. I do kind of prefer the college system, but I I don't I don't hate the NFL system because, like, when you get to the playoffs, both teams get a shot. When it comes to the regular season, you don't want to sit forever through those games. You know they, they, they do have problems, like, finishing games. So I do like the playoff. All right, I like the overtime rules as they are. They they screw everybody at some point. You just have to know at some point it's going to get you. It's got the Chiefs before a couple yeah. times. I mean, but back, I mean, back to my pick though. For me, I was I was yeah. going to be ready to see what they were going to do, but guess who's back? Oh, uh, McCaffrey. Yeah, McCaffrey's back. So we might have Sexy. our hands full. Yeah. Depending on how if we're able to stop him on the run. And keep Kittle from catching the ball. Uh, I think we're we're competitive and we're able to 
do what we got to do. As, if you play like that, as a Buccaneers team, if you play like you did this week yeah. versus the Niners, you be like you, I'm still gonna pick my Chiefs. Bucks. I'm not gonna mess with that. No. I'm still picking them, but they're gonna have their hands full with Niners with Christian coming back. So I'm taking the Niners. It'll be a good game. Yeah, I, I expect a good game. I'm taking the Niners, but I'm not in love with that. I as, I, sh- as you would. Well, I wouldn't have Niners. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> I'm not Santa Clarita, <laughs> Levi Strauss Stadium, Dude, fun yeah. stuff. Call, call that the San Francisco what? They they don't even play in San Francisco. Yeah, call, they, call them Santa Clara, the, the whatever, Santa Clara, Se- Simi Valley. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> something. When they, che- when, they, when they left that field, I was like, you guys aren't even in San Francisco. What are we no. doing here? Okay, next up, Atlanta Falcons Ooh. versus Saints. Falcons. Yeah. They just fired their, their coach in, in New Orleans, so that's going to be a <coughs> implosion. I don't know about that. I'm going to take the Saints. You I know. No, I know. Yeah. No, no, I'm not. Give, I, us, give us your wisdom on why. Because of the new coach. <laughs> because when that... So Sometimes teams do bounce back after it's like a sixty percent win chance. I, like, this is purely the odds. Do I prefer the the Falcons? Mm. Yes. Do I think the Falcons win? Yes. But when it comes to a, a team like this that's got a new coach, they play off the hand like they play so much harder in that first game. Then the rest of the season goes to pot. But they play that first game so hard. So I'm gonna take the Saints. Okay. I don't love it. Bills versus Indy in Indy. I'm calling. I'm calling Buffalo. I I think it's Depend, Buffalo. Depends on. Excuse me. What kind of team? Uh, what kind of offense Richardson wants to run? And if if he's still a head case, and they, they're going to struggle. Oh man, I um, I just don't like um, the Bills are too strong right now. You got a lot of team, a lot of players. You've got two incredibly athletic quarterbacks. You know. Uh, so you got Allen, who's a six-six juggernaut, and then you got like the Colts. Uh, Richardson is a runner. Like that guy is super fast, super athletic. So both of them are. Yeah, but I'm I am taking the Bills, so we'll see. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Washington Commanders. Commanders haven't had to deal with the secondary like this yet. Oh, Pittsburgh Steelers are so Steelers strong right are good. now. So I don't know. I mean, Jaden Daniels is just going nuts. He is. Uh, has he seen a year Pittsburgh number. defense? If they sack him with uh, T.J. Watt, and oh, like yeah. you think about that, I don't think T- I don't think Daniels has dealt with as much pressure as what what Pittsburgh can put on them. So yeah. I'm going to take the Steelers in this one, even though Washington is playing at home, and the Washington defense looks good. But I think it's the Steelers. Sure. Oh, the Commanders. Okay. I, I mean, I, I I don't know what's up with my fantasy, but they won't start Baker over Jaden. They keep telling me to start Jaden over him. And Jaden's put up numbers. He right? is. He's awesome. I'm leaving him there right now. Yeah, so. I'm, I put I keep him there. Oh boy. Vikings versus Jags. Usually I pick the Jags. <laughs> I don't know. Jags are at home though. No. You got the Vikings on this one? Yep. Oh, he likes gosh. playing in the warm weather again. Especially yeah. Justin Jefferson back in his Swampy LSU kind of atmosphere. Good with point. The, Good point. So they might they might do some dominant things and they, that running backs doing some damage for them too. I'm gonna take the Jags. You Go take ahead. The, you, Go ahead. I, have we picked the same team yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, one of us is gonna do well. Yeah. Okay. Patriots versus the Bears. I'm going New England. Yeah. I'm yeah. going New England. Drew's just tearing it up, and those guys just are are scrappy and. Uh, Two like rookie the, quarterbacks going yeah, against each other. Yeah, I just I just like Drake more than. The, I like Drake too. That's a what? More than what, was he drafted number three or like number that. two? Yeah, something like that. Okay, I think he was drafted number three. So this is the number one quarterback versus the number three quarterback. The number one quarterback versus the number two quarterback last year or last week uh, when they played against uh, the Washington Commanders. I'm going to take the Bears. They're at home. It's going to be cold. Oh, Soldier Field gets cold this time of year. Yeah, yeah who's the so. better coach? Who's coaching the Bears? I don't know. Have they fired their coach? I think they brought him off the street. I'm not sure oh, who, good. where he's from. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Titans and Chargers. I'm taking the Chargers on this one. Chargers are at home. It's Harbaugh. He's he's so tough, man. I I would hate to play defense or play offense against any of his defenses. 
he, he's a he's an offensive mastermind for his teams, but for whatever reason, his defense is always plays so tough. And what's his what's his motto? What's he say? Eat no. nails. No, no what's no. he say all the time? He says something about he would. It was a big slogan he always used to say at Michigan. He carried it on into the Chargers program, but. Something about he says something and the players react back with nobody. Oh, who's better than who's us? Who's better yeah. than us? There, yeah. there you go. Okay. Could remember it off the top of my head. No, I got you though. You, I'm, you I'm, had I'm half, but I, that's why night. we work together. I get one half, you <laughs> get the go. other. Two at a month. <laughs> exactly. Cowboys and the Eagles. Cowboys at home. NFC East showdown. Uh, yeah, those are always. I'm taking the Eagles on that one. The Cowboys look like garbage, and the Cowboys. I mean. They're just, their wheels are falling off. And if you're just comparing the quarterbacks, I take Hurts over Dak. Dak is, I don't, I think he's a good quarterback. I just don't like the offense. Yeah, he needs to go somewhere else. Jets versus Cardinals. Cardinals at home? Yeah. Jets haven't been out here for, I don't think, forever. Yeah, and, I don't and ever think they, they won that wild game last week. Uh, the Jets did. They shouldn't have won that game. So I'm, I'm taking the Cardinals. I think the Cardinals are tough now. The Cardinals are doing it, man. Yeah. NFC West leaders and just, you know, you got James Conner in the backfield. You got the beast of... The rookie sensation, oh, Marvin Harrison. Dude, Marvin, starving Marvin, man. And then you got yeah. little tiny, little Mr. Chihuahua in the backfield, <laughs> Kylan Murray. Oh, <laughs> man. It seriously it reminds me of my old cartoons. <laughs> Boom. Quick legs. Just, yeah, he's man, not he's a got, tall dude, but when his he legs can move, move. Yeah, he's it, got some speed. It's like him. watching a roadrunner, kind of. Mm hmm. Okay, Jets, a minute. We got that one. Lions versus Texans. I thought they just played. It's like they tried to play a couple weeks ago and they played again. Yeah. It's a, I don't know if that's true or not. But no. They, they played. Uh, they played uh, a couple weeks ago. I know. I think I know what you're talking about. But uh, no, it's. I'm I, sorry, man. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a old school guy like you are, and I like the smash mouth football that Dan Campbell is teaching. He's getting, bite the he's kneecaps. Teaching, yeah, he's just going off and these guys are going off and yeah they follow everything he's doing it's a, it's just a great thing to see that program turn around good for the city they fight of so detroit hard. oh dude know, that's a that, detroit that used to be just a i mean you remember you and i growing up with barry and yeah and wayne wayne uh, uh oh they had Fontenot the, and all those guys they, the coach they had uh that really tall wide receiver i love that guy. calvin johnson oh well, they had calvin johnson calvin after but the Man, herman Drew. moore was the guy oh, that i liked i liked yeah. herman moore i liked herman a lot of the big boy benny blades brian blades brother played on a safety he was a killer safety oh, yeah. he knocked Dang, me out of the game way back right dude now. i can go all the way through it. <laughs> I, I, it. I have an illness and it's called pro football <laughs> Monday Night Football. Oh, I, I'm picking the Lions. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm definitely taking them. And I think the Texans are, they need to get stronger. They're not looking great. Uh, Dolphins versus Rams at home in, uh, at the, at, so in funny. L.A., yeah. Hmm. I'm taking the Dolphins. Why? Well, so every game in L.A. is basically a home game for the away team. They don't have no team in L.A. or in uh, Las Vegas has the home field advantage. Dude, you look at look at the stands. It's nearly half and half in every one of these games. I would hate to play in L.A. And the Dolphins have Tua. They're looking good. A-Chan, A-Chan looks good. Um, everybody on offense seems to be like relatively healthy or, or it's a next man up situation. Like they got Jalen Wall. He, if he goes down, they got the next fastest wide receiver in the game, like Tyreek Hill. Or is Tyreek Hill the fastest? Mm -hmm. And Waddle's the second fastest. Either way, great offense, good enough defense. Um, yeah, I just don't like the Rams. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Rams because I like all everybody's healthy, still healthy and playing. So. And, oh, we didn't cover, well, the game already happened. The Ravens versus Bengals. I picked the Ravens, or I picked the Bengals. But that was 35-34, nail biter. Yeah, it was. Okay, so Thursday, what are we picking for the Commanders versus Eagles game for Ooh, Thursday? Ooh, NFC, another one. East. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, and it's the Eagles again. Oh, it's a quick turnaround, but it's in Philly. Um, you know, Jalen's team is starting to get healthy. 
You got the backwards hurdle by Saquon. That Barkley. was the <laughs> sickest thing. That was the coolest was thing. Not, you guys talk about that in the chat, I'm sure, but gosh, Saquon I've never Barkley, seen anything, never seen anything like that. Like, like when I say Maybe in a movie. like that, I like mean stunts. anything. Oh, I mean, what are you doing? Diet. He, it looked. What you, I can't even compare it with anything. How do you dodge something coming from behind you, between your legs, and over them? It's like a stuntman in, in a movie. You know, he's just a freak. Yeah. <laughs> Barkley. I, I'm going to take the Eagles. Oh, do I take the Eagles at home? Yeah, I'm taking the Eagles at home. Yeah, it's going to be a battle. It's Bucks, Washington. Be Monday, Monday, man. Thursday night, uh, Amazon NFL. I just going to be, I don't know, man. Eagles defense isn't that good this year. Washington Commanders offense is unreal right now. Yeah, it might be a nail biter, but I think I give the, I give the nod to the Eagles just because of the depth and yeah. what they're doing and what they're capable of. So that's good. That's it for our, our high school, college, NFL picks. Yep. Uh, and a little bit of talk of it's been exciting to high know about the all that's going on in high school and just seeing everything happening for our 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 programs is just going to be amazing yeah. to see our you know our our programs do some damage this week in uh playoffs first round you know it's exciting to see again Get the word out, folks. We're gonna. I'm sure you'll see Jeff Davenport probably three times this week. Oh, at least, yeah. Or, or with John, and they're gonna be talking about you know playoffs and, and David first Paul round. will be talking David, about David, David Paul on their show on Tuesday will be sharing some you know their their input to the the whole process and you know I, I'm really excited to it's an exciting time in Cochise County to see all this football. It's going nuts we're just going to be going all over the place you know hopefully we can cover every single thing we can it's going to be hard with the aia copyright and the aia uh process cool. and we'll we'll find out if they want us to if they're al allowing us to cover things i think cool fm has got might have some in there. yeah we might we might be able to say hey we, can we cover this and they'll say yeah go ahead and consider sponsoring one of those games imagine how many eyes were on those games, those, the Wilcox game? They had all these uh, Wilcox sponsors. It was super cool. Like, all these local dudes were like, well, God bless uh, Wilcox. We, we're just supporting them. And, That's awesome. Yeah, and, and if you want to support your team, give Todd Ryan a call, and we'll put your name on, <clears throat> on the header when we do the games, and we'd love to see you guys there. So thank you from John and Jared on the field with – John and Jared, week number eight, one, nine, right? ten. Yeah, where are we at? We're almost halfway through the football season, yeah. week nine or ten. So it's been good times, oh, dude. High school. Glad, glad to be out here seeing all this going on with us, and and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you guys in the week to come and doing some more coverage of playoff prepared, uh, playoff you know preparedness and seeing what what the teams are doing to get ready for their either next round or their first round. So yeah. hats off to all of our coaches this week, uh, everybody that's out there. And cool FM land, thank you for tuning in. I'm glad you guys are part of this show. If you want to sponsor us, let us know. Reach out to us and see what we, we can have you on the show. We'd like to have some kids from Berean and ALA and even some you know some of the kids from st david now their season's over we can talk to them yeah and we'll be leading into some other basketball sports coming up here oh, next man. season so i'm gonna be tryouts just finished i believe this week and we're buena so we'll find out what uh what's in store for girls and boys basketball girls coach new coach paco torres got a former coach uh, of our buena ball uh boys program has come back to bring some life and, and vigor and some excitement into the girls program. So we'll, we'll look forward to seeing that happening uh, in the coming months and seeing what they get, what these girls can do. So anyway, Cool FM on the field with Jared and John. Have a great weekend, everybody. Have an incredible Veterans Day. If, uh, if you want to come out to the parade, 9 a.m., Master of Ceremonies. <laughs> Again. Right here, second time in a row. I will be hosting the parade, so if you want to come down by the flower shop right there, I'll be right next to the the uh, generals and everybody from Fort Huachuca. Our mayor will be there. Probably all of our guys are still fighting for their seats in the 
in their um, the elections. congressional districts are probably going to come down. And uh, I almost got tackled by Juan Siscomani last year. I'm blindsided <laughs> me. And oh, luckily, yeah. I kept myself together and yeah, broke comes, down. And he comes out to the Sierra Vista yeah, Veterans Parade. Yeah, I was there at that one. Yeah, I had to bra brace myself. So he did a great job of uh, supporting his his area, and he loves Southern Arizona. So we'd love to see him and. We're looking forward to see who's going to show up. We might have a flyover, and we never know what happens. But we have, we really do support all of our veterans in our area, and you know that. You guys know this is our beautiful veteran-driven community here in, in Southern Arizona, with our base on right out the out the back door. So, yeah. John, always a pleasure. Have yeah. a good time, man. All right, man. Yeah. Next week, this this coming week, playoffs. Let's go, everybody. Get down to Buena Friday night. Make it happen.